the art of pivoting can be really, really stressful, you know, overwhelming. There's a lot of feelings that can happen if you're deciding to change in any capacity. For me, the idea of learning how to become a speaker in my industry or learning how to motivate and inspire others was a completely total different shift than me practicing as a healthcare professional. And I gotta be honest, like there's a lot of nerves that come behind it. You know, I don't necessarily know if my YouTube video is going to inspire. My hopes are that it does, but there's that nerve wracking, you know, nagging person in the back of my mind that's telling me like, you know what, this is too complicated. You know what, give up. And I'm consistently inspired by my younger self. What I think about is, is that that younger self who was extremely focused on what she needed to do, who had a plan of action and made it happen, is inspiring the person that you see now because that same person that was back 10, 15 years ago with a goal in mind is fueling this person that you see in front of you towards her goals, dreams, and aspirations. And anytime that we are changing anything in our life, change is just tough. And, you know, sometimes I think it's important that we're speaking to the right people. We're talking to the right people about our goals and our dreams, because if we're not insulated by those who remember our younger selves when we are ambitious, or those individuals who can see if we're being too hard on ourselves, too critical on ourselves about our goals and dreams coming to pass, you know, we can lose sight of what we're trying to do. And COVID has really got a lot of us reconsidering what we're doing. My inspiration or my aspiration to pivot or my decision for it was I was helping people in one aspect of my life, but I felt like I was called to do so much more. I believe that a lot of us have that nagging feeling on the inside that's telling us that, hey, this is good what you're doing, but you're called to do something like this, like totally different. And we might not step out on that nagging feeling, we just let it kind of sit within us when we should. And the questions I ask you is, is that, are you afraid to pivot? And if so, why? You know, is it the fear of what is to come? Is it the unknown? that keeps you stalled? Is it a lack of planning? And those things can be fixed by just sitting down and actually coming up with a plan. You know, what is causing you to stay stagnant in your way of life? You know, what is not allowing you to move forward in that dream, that goal, that aspiration? Like, and is it that you haven't learned how to pivot? Like. When, when an obstacle comes your way, are we hit with it in such a way that we can't get back up? For me, I don't want to live a life where I know that I was called to do so much more and I did not accept the challenge. No matter how difficult it can be, trying something different is just scary, you know? Um, when I became a, a dentist all those years ago, I had no idea on how to grow a business. I had no idea. So we don't really get taught entrepreneurial skills in school, but what I did know was that I was smart enough to figure it out, right? And I think that we know a lot more than we think that we know. And a lot of times we are allowing that self-doubt, allowing the scared person inside to control and rule our future. And I don't know about you, but I know that that is not enough for me, that I know that I can do so much more. And I have to be intentional about my time. Like that's important. You know, even creating this that you see has taken me so many times over and over again, whether it was a lighting issue, whether it was a sound issue. And this is completely out of what I was trained to do what I went to school for. But I know that there's resources out here to be better, right? I know that if I'm intentional with my time, energy, and effort, I can put a lot into my pivot, right? Um, I know that with everything, just like it took me 12 years to grow my business into a multi-million dollar business, right? And I like to say that because I'm proud of that. I'm proud of all of the work that it took, that tenacity, that it took, but when 
that dream, I realized that dream made it work and was excited about it. Something in my spirit continued to tell me, but I'm calling you to do more. And that's different than the space that I'm currently in now. So what do I have to do? I got to learn to pivot. I think that when you're excited about the new possibilities, the new opportunities, and you allow the excitement and the process and the journey to lead you in the new direction, you can do so many things. And so today I just want to encourage you that if you are nervous, about changing careers or doing something different, you know, remember your younger self, that ambitious individual that was ready to take on the world. Tap into that person. Put yourself around people who genuinely love, support, and encourage everything that you have going on because those people are going to help you when that change gets real, when it becomes uncomfortable. And don't doubt yourself because you probably are a lot smarter than you think. And there's so many tools and resources out here to make us the best version of ourselves possible. I don't plan on leaving this world without making sure that my purpose was fulfilled. And I hope to inspire everyone to do the exact same. I want you to live purposely, like I always say, and I really mean that because when you're living on purpose, you don't waste any, any time. And when you're laughing abundantly with your friends and your family, that's what's going to get you through those heartaches and those moments that are really tough as you're changing. And when you love intentionally, it just makes the world so much better of a place.